Hello, I'm Lisa Arana, and I am so excited that you are here with me today. I am all about creating these really beautiful, shabby chic watercolor backgrounds that you can use your favorite water reactive inks with. And they pair perfectly with this beautiful stamp set by Unity Stamp Company called He Provides, which features this beautiful bouquet of flowers and some really lovely scripture sentiments. Now I've already watercolored my flowers using watercolor distress pencils. You can check out the link to that video in my description below or at my blog at dollhousedesigns.com. I have created them in three different color combos because I wanted a variety for my card set. I just think it's fun to play with all the colors. So we're going to create the backgrounds for these cards. And I grabbed this beautiful scripty background, again from Unity, called Love and Wisdom. I'm just going to ink this up with some embossing ink. This is Versamark. And I'm going to stamp it onto some really heavy cardstock. This is 110 pound uh, Nina cardstock. I'm going to cover that with white embossing powder and then melt that with my heat tool. Just going to do a nice even heat. I hold my heat gun really close to the embossing powder and move it quite a bit. I don't like to hold it in one place for too long. Next, we're going to do some ink smushing. For my first card, I have three colors I'm going to be working with. This is Kish Flamingo and Candied Apple. They match the colors I used on the flowers for watercoloring. So that makes coordination super easy, but you can use any water reactive inks that you might have in your stash. You don't have to use distress inks. Now, since I'm using cardstock, you'll notice this ink is not moving or creating a big splotches of color. And that's okay. I like that look. If you wanted it to spread and fill out the area more, just use a more water friendly paper like watercolor paper or Bristol paper. They're much thicker and they create a heavier card. So I tend to like to use cardstock instead. So what I'm going to do is just ink smush on my Kish Flamingo and then I'm using my brush to pick up that damp ink or, or watered down ink and then I'll ink blend over the top of my ink smushing and that creates a really lovely soft watercolor look. For my next color I have Candied Apple and I just ink splattered that on for a little bit of a different dimension to my background and then again I'm going to pick up that watered down ink with my blending brush and blend over the center of my panel so I get more of a watercolor look and we start to fill out that splotchy watercolor background. And then last I came in with frayed burlap and then I'll use a baby wipe to wipe away any of that ink that might be sitting on top of that heat embossing. Now I grabbed a block, I'm going to put that right on top and set that aside to let it dry completely. Since it is cardstock, it does tend to warp, so something heavy on top helps to keep it a little bit more flat. For the second background, I have tumbled glass and peacock feather, plus I spruce for the shade color. I'm using my flower to make sure that I get a big enough watercolor look for the background. That way you see it peeking out from behind those flowers that I've watercolored already. For our next background, I'm going to be using a combo of pinks and purples to match the flowers that I watercolored. This is Kish Flamingo, Shaded Lilac, Villainous Potion, and then I'm using Ice Spruce as my shade color. And I use the same exact technique for this background as well. I set them aside and let them dry overnight. And this is the final look. It's such a soft, lovely watercolor look. So let's take these backgrounds and start creating some cards. For the first one, I'm just going to tear the edges towards me. It just creates a nice texture. And I'm going to do it on the right side and then I'll mimic it on the left side as well. The torn edges just create a really cool look to the card. And then I'm just going to glue that straight down in the center of my card base. I'm going to tear some newsprint pattern paper 
and I'm going to just use these pieces in different lengths and sizes for each of the cards. I like this long strip so I'm just going to glue that down using a glue stick and then make sure that it's in the right position and then I'm going to pop up my flowers right on top using some foam adhesive just so you can get a nice little peek of that newsprint paper. And then I'll put my sentiment right in the corner there. For this one, I used two different sizes of newsprint, popped up my flower right in the center, and then used the scallops and squares dies to trim down the sentiment. And then I'll pop that up on the card so it's at the same level as the flowers. And for our last card, I used the deckle and stitched nesting dies to trim down my panel, pop that up on my card front, added a few more strips of newsprint, and then die cut my sentiment with the scallops and circles die. And then to finish them all off and to add a little bit of sparkle, I added a few tiny little pearl embellishments. And here is our final look. I just love how soft and pretty the shabby chic style looks with the watercolor and the sayings are just really uplifting and supportive to send to a friend or family member in need. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you were inspired by today's projects. Check out my channel for more watercolor inspired looks and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!